Lucian, I want to go back to that, uh, the, the day of the raids and the riots. You were actually at Stonewall Inn, is that right? Take us back and what it was like to be there. Well, the way, it was accidental for me. I was, uh, I had just graduated from West Point, believe it or not, and I was spending my pre going into the Army leave living in New York, and I was walking from the loft I was renting from down on Broome Street to the Lion's Head, which was two doors down from the Stonewall. And I turned the corner off of Waverly Street on Christopher Street, and there it was, right in front of me. The, they were busting the, the Stonewall. There was a couple of police cars pulled up on the, on the street, and the bust had begun probably half an hour, an hour before. And they were starting to bring out people in cuffs, <coughs> put them in, in the police cars. <coughs> and um, a crowd had gathered across the street and they were watching. Some of the people across the street had gotten out of the stone wall as the cops came in, either out the back door or around the cops and out the front door or somehow. And then the word had spread what was going on on Christopher Street. And Christopher Street was the heart and soul of the gay community in New York. And there were a lot of gay bars and places that gay people had dinner and so forth right nearby. And they started people started walking over to see what was going on. And uh, and so what happened was, uh, you know, get the, the cops, just like was said, uh, the cops busted gay bars all the time. But what typically happened was gay people would be come out of the bars with cuffs on and cover their faces and be going to the paddy wagons or cars and they didn't want to be recognized. People had jobs. They worked for banks or advertising firms or whatever, and they thought they'd lose their jobs or they'd be exposed to their wives if they were married or, or whatever. And, and that's what the police were used to. Well, they busted the Stonewall, and the Stonewall was known for serving underage people. <coughs> and it had a uh, sound system in the back room, and there was dancing. And was kind of a wild place. And the people that they busted in the Stonewall weren't like that. They didn't have jobs. They didn't have anything to lose. A lot of them were 17, 18 years old. And when they came out of the bar, they were posing and waving to their friends and calling out and saying, you know, come down and, you know, can you get my bail? And, and acting like it was, you know, it, it was, there was nothing to it. They'd been busted before. It didn't bother them. And the cops didn't like it. And they didn't have that fear that so many no. had had before. And they years. didn't behave like cowed, frightened mm -hmm. gay people. And the cops didn't like it. And the cops didn't like them standing and posing and waving. And, and so the crowd started, uh, the cops started pushing them with their nightsticks and shoving them roughly into cars. And the crowd started reacting to it and yelling at the cops and throwing pennies at first and calling them pigs. And, and it sort of went south from there. I mean, right after I got there is when all the throwing and so forth And this started. went on through the night, and then was it the next night where you had hundreds, if not thousands, come back? Yeah, the next night was the night that the tactical patrol force was sent in. There were hundreds on the, on the street, if not a couple of thousand, and, uh, and, uh, and it went on for on Friday night, it didn't go on for, uh, for for real long because the bus took place. They they tried to get them in the cars. When the when the gay people got angry and started throwing stuff at the cops, the cops retreated, went inside the stone wall. I was outside, and that was when they broke the front window, threw things through the window, started a fire, took a bat, you know, took a. a uh, Parking meter? A parking meter and used mm -hmm. it to ram the door and that sort of thing. And and, uh, and then the cops, the reinforcements came from the 6th Precinct and scattered the crowd and the cops came back out and, and you know, within a, a couple of hours it was over. But Saturday night went on for hours. 